Hey, I'm Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. I recently put out a video talking about side and stomach sleepers and whether or not they might be better served by sleeping bags designed for them rather than quilts. Now, I've been quilt camping for some time, but I have recently kind of made the switch back over to sleeping bags because when I am rolling around, tossing and turning, kicking a leg out and all the antics that I do in the night trying to get a good night's sleep, I have found that quilts are just too drafty in seriously cold conditions for my use. Now, I know there are ways to mitigate those, but I did find it interesting that two of the videos that I used to research how to keep a quilt from getting drafty actually showed the quilts being drafty in the video trying to show how they are not drafty. Well, the video generated a lot of conversation about the best quilts, the best sleeping bags, but one thing that seemed to come up over and over again was the Zen Bivy light bed. A bunch of you recommended that I try out the Zen Bivy, and then others were saying, oh no, it costs too much, or no, it's too heavy. But then right about that time, Michael Glavin, the founder of Zen Bivy, contacted me and asked if I would like to check out the light bed system. So I said, well, I don't, yes, I would. Now, Michael was kind enough to send me the 10 degree Zen Bivy light bed with all the bells and whistles because I really wanted to give it the fairest test that I possibly could. Now, probably a lot of you have heard of Zen Bivy, but maybe you didn't really go into it and check it out because it just seemed kind of mysterious. Zen Bivy promises a sleep like your bed at home, and they advertise the fact that they are prioritizing comfort over weight savings. Now, between that and the sticker shock that some of us feel when we very first looked at some of their best systems, I think a lot of people aren't trying it out. However, on the opposite side of the spectrum, there were people complaining that Zen Bivy is nothing more than a typical quilt sleep pad system and that it seems rather pointless on the market today. So what I want to do in this video is remove the mystery surrounding the Zen Bivy system, show you exactly what it is and what it does. And then I want to talk about whether or not there really is a major weight or price penalty for the Zen Bivy system. And I'm going to give you my opinion on whether or not the comfort that it delivers is worth it. The Zen Bivy system begins with this sleep pad. The 77 by 25 inch weighs 25 ounces. This insulated pad has an R value of five and it runs $200. If you are a backpacker, I'm sure you're familiar with these. A backpacking quilt is basically a big insulated blanket that has some special features, either toggles or drawstrings, that allow it to be cinched up in certain areas and used as a quasi-sleeping bag. Now, I've gone over the benefits and difficulties with quilts in other videos. I will post those at the end, but there really isn't anything particularly magical about the Zen Bivy Light Quilt. Now, like the other gear that Zen Bivy makes, this is just one of a couple of different models that you can get. For this review, I went with their 10-degree quilt. Now, 10-degree is survival rate 20 degree is the comfort rating. I picked the one that has the footbed that can be cinched shut. There are other ways to do this, some of them lighter, but I wanted something that was going to be able to close down very quickly and easily without any fuss. So this is the convertible footbox option. I opted for the 77 inch because sometimes I like to have a little bit of extra room at the bottom. The insulation for this quilt is 800 fill down. The light quilt weighs in at 38 ounces and the quilt by itself runs $300. The real magic of the Zen Bivy system comes in this thing here. This is called the light sheet. At the top of the light sheet, you have an insulated down hood, a very large one. Coming off of the hood are these winged walls of material that attach to the quilt and essentially seal it up so that there is no draft even at the top. The rest of the material of the quilt acts as a sheet that goes over the sleep pad so that your body is not actually in contact with it, but rather with this incredibly comfortable sheet. This simply wraps around the pad, secures with this toggle, and you are in business. It weighs in at three and a half ounces, and it costs $130. Let's see what it looks like on the pad. As you can see, the sleep pad now has a hood, very comfortable surface to lie upon. One of the things I love about this hood is that it is big enough to get your entire arm up in. So you can cinch it down as like a mummy bag, or you can leave it open and keep your arms warm even when they are above your head. At various places along the quilt, you have these little colored toggles, and this is what is going to create the structure 
for the bed system. The color coding is especially nice because when you're tired and trying to get your sleep system set up, it's nice to not have to think about it too hard. Once the clips are in place, you simply pull down the drawstring and the quilt becomes more like an enclosed sleeping bag. And these walls clip into the top of the quilt so that even if you are rolling around and shifting, it's not going to lift up and give you a breeze. For the weight penalty of only three and a half ounces, this entire space is now covered. Now you can top this bed system off with the Zen Bivy pillow. This is an inflatable pillow with a nice soft cover on it. And now you have an entire light bed. The Zen Bivy light pillow weighs two and a half ounces. It's a 15 inch by 10 inch by four inch pillow that runs $39. So all in, this system comes to 69 ounces and runs $719. However, keep in mind that this is getting all of the extras at the very warmest and one of the biggest systems you can get. The Zen Bivy systems start at less than half that much, depending on which features you are willing to give up, and if you don't need it to go to the 10 degree level. So now that we have unraveled the mystery of the Zen Bivy light bed system, how does it actually work? The first time that I used my Zen Bivy system, I was actually tarp camping. And because of the way the trees were and the way my ridge line had to sit, I actually had a fairly cool breeze blowing through the tarp every few hours. It didn't bother me one bit. The Zen Bivy system is so warm and so comfortable and so draft free that I really did feel like I was in a bed at home. I just looked at my watch and realized I have spent 12 hours <laughs> in the Zen Bivy light bed. This was my first time camping in it, and if I ever decide to get out of it, I'm gonna walk you through its features and let you know what makes it so special. Now, yes, it's still an air mattress, and yes, you still have a blow-up pillow. Those things aren't going to be any different. But the super soft feel of the pad cover, in addition to the inner material of the quilt, was just super comfortable. It never got that sticky, tacky feeling. And the fact that I could just squirm around, roll around, move around into any position I wanted without creating any drafts just made for an excellent night's sleep. It was just so comfortable that even when I got up in the morning, I just didn't want to get out of bed. It was just an unbelievably comfortable night. One of the things I loved about the system is the way the fast sheet created like a little material wall next to my face. When I lifted up and I wasn't looking out underneath my quilt to the outside, something about it just gave me a sense of security and comfort that I don't even experience with sleeping bags, much less with quilts. The other thing I love about this system is its modularity. You're essentially buying a quilt and a sleep pad, which is something you're probably going to have anyway. The only thing you're really adding to the system is the sheet that goes over the pad. Now there are pad sheets out there that you can get, but the fact that this whole system together works so well makes it unlike anything you can put together by buying the pieces one at a time. To mimic something like the Zen Bivy light bed with a quilt system, you would have to have a sleep pad that is matched pretty well with your quilt, but you're also going to have a pretty elaborate system of pad straps that you're gonna have to get figured out pretty much every time you set it up, and you would also have to get a sleeping pad cover of some kind. Now, even with the best of all of those pieces, you're still not going to have these walls, you're still going to have draft problems, you're still not gonna have a hood, and even if you try to finish off a system like that with a down jacket where you can put the hood up and leave the sleeves on, it's just very different having a coat on compared to having a hood that your bare arm can slide into and stay warm. But if you are on a trip where volume and weight are extremely important, the system will work just fine without the sheet. You don't have to have the hood. You don't have to have the pad cover. You don't have to have the wings keeping a draft out. You can just use the Zen Bivy quilt and the Zen Bivy sleep pad just like you would from any other manufacturer. The difference with the Zen Bivy light bed is that now you have options. Now let's compare this light bed system to what I could put together with individual pieces from my own ultralight gear loadout. I have a 20 degree large size UGQ bandit quilt. It weighs in at 26 and a half ounces 
It has an 850 fill power in the insulation. It's about the same size, and it runs $345, which is just barely less than the Zen Bivy Light Quilt. The UGQ Bandit comes with one pad strap, but I'm going to need at least two to even come close to what the Zen Bivy Light Bed system is like. That's going to add another ounce and a half and another $25 to the system. If I threw in the Thermarest Synergy Lux Pad Cover, that's an 11.8 ounce gain and runs $47. My Nemo Tensor Sleep Pad is the insulated wide large version. It weighs in at 21 ounces, is 76 inches long, and has an R value of 4.2, which is nearly one entire step lower than the Zen Bivy Light mattress. The Nemo Tensor retails for $230. Throw in my three ounce Trekology pillow, which is an inch longer and two inches wider, but the same thickness, and you've added another $17 to the system. So putting all of this together, you are comparing the Zen Bivy light bed system with the pillow, coming in at 69 ounces and running $719. The system I put together with my ultralight gear comes in at 63.8 ounces and runs $664. That means that the Zen Bivy light bed is only 5.2 ounces heavier than putting all of my individual gear together. That's a 9.5% difference, and the Zen Bivy light bed system is only $55 more, a 9.2% increase. If you choose to use the Zen Bivy light bed system without the fast sheet, your total weight is going to drop to 65 and a half ounces. In comparison with my ultralight loadout that I have now, that is a difference of 15 ounces, which is considerable. It's a 33% weight gain over piecemealing a system like this together. The price difference at this point is actually going to only be $3, and it is in favor of Zen Bivy. It actually costs more to piecemeal a system together like this than it does to just use the pieces from the Zen Bivy light bed system. So my conclusion is that while maybe no single piece of the Zen Bivy light bed system is going to win against the very best single pieces of ultralight gear out there, when it comes to the system as a whole, I don't think you can put something together that's going to really beat the Zen Bivy light bed. Ultimately, it's going to come down to whether you value weight and price versus comfort and adaptability. However, when you compare the total systems, the weight and price are really not that much different. About the only way to put a serious gap in the weight side of things is to just get rid of the thing that makes the Zen Bivy light bed so great. But you're only saving three and a half ounces, and in fact, it makes the system built of individual pieces cost more. Now, I'm not necessarily going to take the Zen Bivy light bed on every single trip that I ever do. However, if I had to get rid of everything and keep only one system, this would definitely be it because it is high quality, it is incredibly comfortable, and it is adaptable to so many more situations from ultralight minimalist to absolute luxury. And you're getting all of that for less than a 10% weight penalty and a 10% price penalty. I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, why don't you subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim, especially if you are into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. Until next time, I am Doug. Thanks for watching. <laughs>